effects or protein modifications. Now, the most important and interesting part about the Helicobacter pylori topic is how pylori survives the stomach acidity. Now, we know that they produce ureases, but exactly how? Now, the machinery is very basic that they produce urease, which is an enzyme to break down urea into ammonia and carbon dioxide. So, they, br they are breaking urease, urea into ammonia and carbon dioxide. Now, the ammonia is then converted into ammonium by taking a proton because there are a lot of water out there. So, they can usually take a, a proton from there because acids are there, HCl is there. So, protons are very al plenty of protons are there. So, the ammonia will be converted into ammonium and the carbon dioxide that resides there that carbon dioxide will interact with hydroxyl ions that are also pretty common there because water is always available so the carbon dioxide will interact with hydroxyl to produce bicarbonate and this is the bicarbonate which neutralizes the gastric acid it's not actually ammonia because ammonia is converted into ammonium and then it's done but the carbon dioxide binding with the hydroxyls from the surrounding is finally converted into bicarbonate that reduces the acidity of the environment and the reduction of acidity is very very vital so this is a way of how it's done this is the way that we have understood but behind this process there are many genes are working many things are working still all of the machineries are not clear yet research is going on